Hey everyone, welcome back to this series called Finance Current Affairs. In this very series, we pick up some important financial topics and we try and discuss them with the help of different questions. So before I start with first question, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified about all our upcoming videos which can be really very really helpful for you all. And if you want a free PDF of this very session, you can join our Telegram group, link is in the description below. We provide all the free PDFs on that very group only. So now let's start with first question that says, what does it refer to? So here we have two statements and we have to identify the concept being talked about. So let's read them one by one. The first one says it assures the project owner, typically a government entity, that the assigned contractor will perform the task as per the contract clause and the company assuring it pays the project owner the promised amount in the event of default by the contractor. And it is a mechanism to transfer risk. Now let's take an example to understand this very concept. Government undertakes various projects, various infrastructure projects are there, construction of roadways, construction of hospitals, schools, etc. Now it might appoint some contractor who will be into construction of that project or execution of that contract. All right. Now there is a huge amount which government is willing to invest in this very project. Bohat zada expenditure karna padta hai. Not only government, any entity might be into some project where they might appoint some contractor to undertake that project. But there is a huge risk involved. What is that risk? There is the risk that the contractor might not be able to complete the project in time. Okay, there might be delays. Project might be completed, but the performance might not be up to the mark. Quality uh, compromise ki gai. Project achche se nahi complete hua. Time pe complete nahi hua. So there is huge risk involved. There is an option available through which the government can transfer this very risk or any entity which wants that project to get done can actually transfer this risk. So there are certain companies which are existing and what they do, they promise to pay the uh, project owner the amount in case the contractor defaults. So here are three parties involved. Ho जो भी प्रोजेक्ट कंप्लीट कर रहा है कॉन्ट्रैक्टर अगर वो टाइम पे कंप्लीट करके नहीं देता एज पर द रिक्वायरमेंट्स वो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अपने एग्जीक्यूट नहीं करता तो ये कंपनी उसकी गारंटी दे रही है उसके लिए अश्योरेंस दे रही है कि इन केस दिस कॉन्ट्रैक्टर डज नॉट कंप्लीट द थिंग्स ऑन टाइम देन वी आर गोइंग टू कंपेंसेट यू फॉर द सेम सो इफ दिस थर्ड पार्टी इज गोइंग टू डिफॉल्ट देन वी आर गोइंग टू पे यू द अमाउंट वी आर अश्योरिंग दिस सो दिस होल a uh, process involves providing protection to the project owner in case of default of the contractor so there are guarantees provided by the banks we call them banks bank guarantee now a new thing is being introduced where what will be done where the insurance company will be providing this very protection so pehle banks guarantee dete the government ko ki contractors agar project complete nahi karenge to we'll compensate you for the same now IRDAI, which is the insurance market regulator, it has said that now the surety bonds or uh, surety bonds or the surety insurance contracts can be entered into where the insurance company will provide the assurance to the government or the project or owners that in case the contractor fails to execute the project on time, we are going to compensate you for the same. So the answer to this question is option D, surety bond or surety insurance contract. Yaha pe hamara bank guarantee mentioned nahi hai. Okay, agar mentioned hota to hum confuse ho sakte ki whether it's bank guarantee or it's surety insurance contract. Alright, so here what is happening here the assurance is provided uh, that the to the project owner that the assigned project will be completed by the contractor and in, in case he defaults on the same then we will we promise you to pay the amount. Alright. So moving ahead to this very thing, IRDAI, which stands for Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India, it has issued these guidelines which ensures development of the surety insurance business in India. And what are these guidelines called? The IRDAI Surety Insurance Contract Guidelines 2022. Ye guidelines recently RDAI ne nikali hai, January mein hi ye guidelines aai hai and they will come into effect from 1st of April 2022. On whom are these guidelines applicable? 
there are various insurance companies who are into general insurance business insurance act ke under unko uh, in general insurance products offers karne ki permission hoti hai so those insurance companies which are registered under the insurance act they are also allowed to transact the business of surety insurance so wo surety bonds surety insurance contracts mein enter kar sakte hain and they will provide the protection to the project owners to the government and all all right Surety insurance contract की अगर हम बात करें वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इट वाइल आई वॉज डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन सो इट्स बेसिकली कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑफ गारंटी टू परफॉर्म द प्रोमिस डिस्चार्ज द लाइबिलिटी ऑफ अ थर्ड पर्सन इन केस ऑफ डिफॉल्ट सो हेयर वी हैव थ्री पार्टीज इन्वॉल्व वी हैव दी श्योरिटी कंपनी विच इज प्रोवाइडिंग द श्योरेंस दैट वी विल पे इन केस ऑफ डिफॉल्ट देर इज प्रिंसिपल दैट इज वन हु हैज टू एग्जीक्यूट द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ओके सो हु ऑन हुज डिफॉल्ट द श्योरिटी कंपनी विल बी paying the beneficiary and the person to whom the guarantee is provided that is obligee or the creditor so surety company principal ke behalf pe obligee ko ye assurance deti hai ki ye principal agar default karega to we are going to make the payment of that default now this thing is a is this surety insurance contract or the surety bonds are basically an alternative to the bank guarantees pehle banks guarantee provide karte the for which banks used to charge certain fee they used to ask for the collateral but now it's a, there is an alternative of surety insurance contract where the, although they will charge the fee but there is no need to provide the collateral so it's going to help reduce the risks due to cost overrun project delays pro, पुअर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट परफॉर्मेंस अब ये प्रिंसिपल जो है ये टाइम पर प्रोजेक्ट कंप्लीट नहीं करता जितना बजट है जितना अग्री किया है एक्सपेंडिचर उससे ज्यादा कॉस्ट इनकर कर रहा है या उसकी परफॉर्मेंस अप टू द मार्क नहीं है इन दीज केसेस दी श्योरिटी कंपनी इज गोइंग टू पे दी ऑब्लाइज फॉर द सेम और राइट देर आर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सम रिलेट टू एक्चुअली एग्जीक्यूटिंग द प्रोजेक्ट इन केस ऑफ डिफॉल्ट सम रिलेट टू कम्पनसेटिंग फॉर द सेम पेइंग द नीडेड मनी सो दिस इज has been discussed in detail under these guidelines moving ahead now why we need a surety bond obviously uh, the risks for the government or for the contract for, uh, for the print the risk for the government or the project owner gets transferred because they get the necessary assurance so usually what happens is when government give the projects to different contractors to complete it asks for these kinds of guarantees bahut zyada paisa involved hai टाइम पे कंप्लीट करने की जरूरत है ओके विद इन दी रिक्वायर्ड बजट वो कंप्लीट करना है प्रोजेक्ट सो गवर्नमेंट आस्क फॉर द गारंटीज फ्रॉम दिस कॉन्ट्रैक्टर्स ओके अर्लियर दे यूज टू प्रोवाइड द बैंक गारंटीज नाउ द सिक्योरिटी बॉन्ड्स कैन आल्सो बी प्रोवाइडेड सो टॉकिंग अबाउट द बेनिफिट टू द कॉन्ट्रैक्टर कॉन्ट्रैक्टर को क्या बेनिफिट है सिक्योरिटी बॉन्ड से सी the contractors are required to provide the guarantee if they want the projects from the government and aapko government ya kisi bhi project owner se koi project lena hai aapko unhe guarantee provide karni padegi ki hum time pe complete karke denge within your costs but there are various small contractors involved who were not able to uh, take the benefit of the bank guarantee and thus were not able to fetch these kinds of projects from the government wo bank guarantee provide nahi kar pate the because huge cost was involved and they had to provide the collateral so the huge amount of money gets blocked when you are going for the the bank guarantees and small and medium contract Uh, contractors were not able to fetch the contracts so now surety bonds can create a level playing field for them as well so zaruri nahi hai ki jo large contractors hai jinki financial muscle achhi khasi hai wo hi projects fetch kar payenge now small contractors can also fetch because they will be able to utilize the benefit of the surety bonds which have been introduced moreover what does the budget says about this abhi budget aaya jahan pe baat ki gayi hai surety bonds ki so what has budget proposed See in the budget, we have seen that uh, there is a lot of focus on investing in the infrastructure, of spending a lot of money on building the roadways, railways, telecommunications. The PM Gati Shakti scheme is driven by seven engines, which focus on different types of infrastructure: the road, railways, airports. So, we are seeing that government is doing a lot of infrastructure development. Now, when the roads will be developed, when the airports will be made, when the waterways or different telecommunication projects are to be undertaken contractors would be hired to complete these projects all right so they this there comes the need of having a surety bonds when you are giving the project on contract to someone there is a need to provide the guarantee as well the assurance as well so surety bonds can act as a good alternative to the bank guarantees and as i have mentioned that has been mentioned in budget as well 
दैट स्मॉल सप्लायर्स दी वर्क कॉन्ट्रैक्टर्स जो छोटे सप्लायर्स हैं वर्क कॉन्ट्रैक्टर्स हैं विच वर नॉट एबल टू टेक द बेनिफिट ऑफ बैंक गारंटी दे कैन नाउ टैप दिस इंश्योरेंस प्रोडक्ट दी श्योरिटी बॉन्ड ओके एंड थ्रू दैट दे कैन प्रोवाइड दिस श्योरिटी ऑफ द पेमेंट्स विदाउट द नीड ऑफ हैविंग अ कुलेट रेट सो ये नए प्रोडक्ट का बेनिफिट स्मॉल कॉन्ट्रैक्टर्स एंड ट्रेडर्स उठा सकते हैं बिकॉज देर इज नो नीड टू प्रोवाइड अ लॉट ऑफ कुलेट रेल एंड गेट देयर मनी स्टार्ट okay so this is what the budget says now coming to the next topic and the next question of the day which says which of the following is incorrect so here we have some statements that relate to the core banking solution so let's first discuss that and then we'll come back to the question and answer it is se related budget mein bhi baat ki gayi hai so hum log wo bhi discuss karenge first of all talking about core banking solution see there is a system existing a digital platform existing because of which we are able to get the banking services 24/7 from anywhere okay moreover there is interoperability between different banks we want to withdraw we have an account at sbi we want to withdraw the money from an hdfc's atm so we can do so moreover net banking is there online banking facilities are there so there is some kind of arrangement where all the things are properly connected there is 24/7 Access. This is through the core banking solution which is existing. A network of branches is there. A network of banks is there, which is allowing the customers to operate their accounts from anywhere uh, digitally or access the services of one bank from the other place. So that's the core banking solution which is existing. Related to this, what government has planned is that the post office network will also be brought under the core banking system. to ensure transfer of funds are uh, more easier and to ensure the interoperability so government ka plan hai ki post offices ko pe bhi ye core banking solution apply ho jaye so that's why in the budget it has been announced that in 2022 100% post offices will come under core banking solution around 1.5 lakh post offices hain wo sare ke sare hamare core banking solution ke under aa jayenge when this will be allowed then the uh, people who are having accounts with the post offices they can also fetch the benefits of net banking mobile banking atms there will be interoperability they can transfer the funds from one account to the other from the post office account to the bank account so more financial inclusion will be ensured ye uh, budget mein announce ho gaya hai ki core banking solution ab banks mein bhi apply hoga sorry post offices mein bhi apply hoga this will provide the benefit specially to the farmers to the senior citizens who are there in the rural area because it will ensure more interoperability and financial inclusion all right currently agar aap baat karo post offices mein jo savings accounts log kholte hain that are uh, the, those kinds of banking services the payment bank services are provided by whom by the indian post payments bank indian post payments bank jo hai wo ye sab post accounts post office mein accounts kholne ki facilities dete hain now uh, this very step is a move which will ensure more interoperability between the bank and the post office accounts by that i mean that if you have an account with the post office okay the indian post payment bank mein aapka koi account hai and you have account elsewhere also you or someone else has some account in some bank you can easily transfer the money because interoperability will also be ensured okay not only within the payments Uh, post payments bank you can transfer the money but among different banks as well although some banks are all some post offices are already using this kuch post offices mein already uh, cbs system applicable ho chuka hai but if all the banks are going to follow this or, or if all the post office is are going to follow this then it will ensure more interoperability between the post office and the bank अगर ज्यादा से ज्यादा पोस्ट ऑफिस सारे ही पोस्ट ऑफिस इसके अंडर आ जाएंगे एंड देन देर आर बैंक्स व्हिच आर ऑलरेडी अंडर दिस वेरी सॉल्यूशन दिस वेरी सिस्टम देन इट विल इंश्योर मोर बेटर इंटरऑपरेबिलिटी इजीली पैसा ट्रांसफर हो पाएगा आप ऑनलाइन सर्विसेज एक्सेस कर पाओगे ऑल राइट सो दिस इज वॉट आई वॉन्टेड टू डिस्कस कमिंग बैक टू आर क्वेश्चन we have to identify the incorrect statement so first one says cbs is a network of branch which enables customers to operate their accounts avail banking services from any branch regardless of where he maintains his account this is correct in budget it was announced that in 2022 100% of 1.5 lakh post offices will come under cbs ye bhi abhi humne discuss kiya is correct 
the move to bring post offices under cbs will allow interoperability between bank and post office accounts so post office accounts or banks mein interoperability hogi easily transfers ho payenge this is also correct so all a b c are correct answer is option e that none of the above is incorrect now coming to next topic and third question of the day that says which of the following is correctly related to bad bank we have had various sessions on bad bank but recently a uh, bad bank is again in news kuch isse related chal raha hai uh, abhi news mein to hum wo discuss kar lete hain then we'll come back to the question and answer it now we all are aware that the uh, proposal of bad bank or the announcement of starting with a bad bank came in the budget last year last year proposed kiya gaya tha ki bad bank set up hoga under this we wanted to set up uh, two different entities narcl and idrcl narcl was meant to take the bad loans the bad assets of the banks and idrcl was to uh, going to help to resolve them okay but there were some problems going on because of which the regulatory approvals were not being granted these uh, this bad bank was not able to start its operations and benefit provide the necessary benefit with which with uh, which was basically the objective behind setting the bad bank bad bank ko secure set karna tha npa ki problem se deal kar sake banks ki balance sheet clean up se kar sake jo large loans hai jo npas mein badal jate hain unko resolve kar sake narcl got the approval rdrcl was not able to start the operation so kahin na kahin approvals nahi mil rahe the rbi ke end se and that's the reason why bad bank was not able to start the operations but now finally all the regulatory approvals have been granted and now it will soon start the operations and provide the benefit so why there was a delay and now what structure has been accepted and the approval has been granted let's discuss that kafi time se almost ek saal ho gaya hai and the approvals were not given so there was something there was something wrong which was going on because of which we saw a a big delay in this process so why this process got delayed why there were no approvals being granted ye plan pichle saal bana tha ki bad bank set kiya jayega banks ki balance sheet clear karne ke liye lekin rbi is structure se happy nahi tha jis wajah se unhone clearances nahi diye approvals nahi diye there were issues that relate to the ownership structure of this bad bank and its operational mechanism what does the bad bank suggested it suggested that two entities will be set up narcl and rdrcl but usually what happens in uh, geograph different geographies is that there is one entity which owns also and which helps in the recovery of assets humne dekha hai ki ek hi company hoti hai ek hi firm hoti hai jo ye khareedti hai and recovery mein help karti hai okay but here two different entities were suggested so there was some ownership structure issue okay moreover if i talk about asset reconstruction company and the asset management company so one it comes under the purview of rbi under its governance and amcs usually come under the purview of sebi so there was regulatory issue as well ki kon regulate karega narcl ko rbi karega idrcl ko kya sebi karega so those kind of ownership and operational issues were there rbi ne arc एज अ आर सी एन ए आर सी एल को तो लाइसेंस दे दिया था कि वो फंक्शन स्टार्ट कर सकती है बट इट वॉज नॉट सेटिस्फाइड विद दिस डुअल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एन ए आर सी एन एन आर डी आर सी एल ए आर सी का लाइसेंस एन ए आर सी एल को मिल गया था बट ये डुअल स्ट्रक्चर आई डी आर सी एल से आर बी आई सेटिस्फाइड नहीं था सो देर वॉज अ नीड टू टेक दिस इशू इन टू कंसिडरेशन फाइनली अ न्यू स्ट्रक्चर वॉज सजेस्टेड एंड इट हैज बीन गिवन अ ग्रीन सिग्नल फ्रॉम आर बी आई एस एन सो वॉट स्ट्रक्चर हैज बीन सजेस्टेड इट्स दी प्रिंसिपल एजेंट रिलेशनशिप NARCL will exist as well as IDRCL. NARCL will be buying these bad loans, and IDRCL will be helping in the recovery. But the final decision-making power, giving the approvals for the resolution, all that rests with NARCL as a principal. IDRCL, NARCL का एजेंट की तरह एक्ट करेगा, और फाइनल जो अप्रूवल देना है कि हाँ ये ऐसे रिजोल्यूशन होना है, वो NARCL के एंड से ही मिलेगा. so as a agent idrcl is going to work as a agent of narcl sab kuch narcl ki balance sheet mein show hoga all right so narcl will acquire the nps from banks idrcl will help in approve uh, help in resolution but final approval the ownership of resolution lies with the narcl 
एनएआरसीएल में मेजर स्टेट पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक का है आईडीआरसीएल हैज मेजर स्टेट ऑफ स्टेट ऑफ प्राइवेट सेक्टर बैंक और राइट सो इवन दैट्स द केस फाइनल अप्रूवल अथॉरिटी हैज बीन गिवन टू एनएआरसीएल व्हिच इज मेजरली पब्लिक ओन्ड पब्लिक सेक्टर ओन्ड सो दिस हैज बीन डन टू एड्रेस ऑल द रेगुलेटरी कंसर्न्स व्हिच वर गोइंग ऑन अब इस डिसीजन की वजह से आरबीआई ने ग्रीन सिग्नल दे दिया है एंड सून द रेजोल्यूशन इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट सो व्हाट काइंड ऑफ रेजोल्यूशंस आर एक्सपेक्टेड सी द रेजोल्यूशन विल बी डन इन अ फेज मैनर जो इतने ज्यादा अमाउंट के हमारे एनपीए से एक साथ उन्हें रिजॉल्व नहीं किया जाएगा एक एक बेसिकली फेज मैनर में किया जाएगा 38 अकाउंट्स हैव बीन रिकॉग्नाइज्ड व्हिच आर वर्थ 82845 करोड़ सो फर्स्ट इन फर्स्ट फेज ओनली 15 अकाउंट्स विल बी रिजॉल्व्ड सो 50000 करोड़ तक का फर्स्ट फेज में रेजोल्यूशन होगा एंड दिस इज एक्सपेक्टेड बाय मार्च दिस ईयर ऑलराइट Now talking about government guarantee. So what is going to happen is NARCL is going to buy the bad loans from the banks. What type of structure it's going to follow? Fifteen is to eighty-five. That means fifteen percent amount will be paid in cash to the banks from whom these bad loans are being bought. But for remaining eighty-five percent account, they will issue security receipts. They will not provide the cash. They will just issue the receipts, which are an indicator that we have bought your assets. You are uh, going to get the money back. Some day is in some later time period, and for this eighty-five percent amount, government also provides the guarantee that in case when the resolution see, क्या होता है पंद्रह percent NARCL जो है वो cash दे देती है bank को eighty-five percent amount की वो security receipts issue कर देती है कि whenever the things will be resolved, these loans will be resolved, we'll get the money, then you will get paid for the same. And in case the resolution value the recovery whatever is recovered is less than this 85% amount then the government has provided the guarantee that we will uh, that we will provide you some money support through which you can pay the 85% amount so government ne kuch crore amount ki guarantee di hui hai uske under agar jo recovery ho rahi hai us uh, very loan ki wo enough nahi hai uski face value kam hai then the security receipt then the government's guarantee money will be used to pay back your banks for those assets All right. So now coming back to our question, we have to identify the correct statement on bad bank. First one says a key proposal announced in 2021 budget to set bad bank to deal with stressed assets has received all regulatory approvals. So अब इनको सारे regulatory approvals green signal मिल गया है. This is correct. Bad bank will help clean up the balance sheet of the banks and deal with issue of NPS. This was the major objective. So it's correct. NARCL requires. Acquiring the NPAs from banks, IDRCL will help in debt resolution. But final approval ownership for resolution lies with NARCL as principal. So NARCL as a principal work करेगी, IDRCL उसके agent की तरह final approval की power NARCL के पास है. So all these statements are correct. That's why answer is option E. A, B, C are correct. Now coming to last question related to this very topic only. That says fill in the blanks. So we have to fill the blanks over here. That says the NARCL purchased the bad loans through a dash structure. So, अभी हमने discuss किया 15 is to 85 structure है, where it will pay 15% in cash and 85% amount के लिए security receipts issue की जाएगी. All right. So, option B is correct. This was all for today's session. I hope it was useful for you all. With this, I would like to end up this session. Thank you so much.